Hey, what's up, TV Trader? So, a couple days ago, I made a 500 video special and I revealed two new Let's Plays Rogue Galaxy and Do You Got Duels of the Roses. Here we got the main LP, Rogue Galaxy. Yeah, I'm gonna start Rogue Galaxy today. First thing I wanna do is check out the options menu. Came out in 2006. Alright, so yeah, here's the options menu and all that. You can change some of this stuff if you want to. Got your auto lock on, you got your show mini map, show compass, battle messages. Yeah, as you're running around in the game, uh, or no, active chats, what that is. Active chats where if you, when you're running around in the game and all that, your characters will actually speak and all that. So you can turn that on or off if you want to. I'm going to leave it on. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start part one of the Rogue Galaxy Let's Play. New game. I will be quiet during cutscenes. I will not talk during cutscenes. There are cutscenes in this game. And I will not be speaking over them. So don't worry about that. Alright, so we got story. Yeah, as you load up this game, you'll get the story of what you previously did. That's very nice. So in this, when you first start the game, it says, The war that divides, the galaxy has cast its dark shadow upon the distant desert planet Rosa. Highly valued for its natural resources, Rosa has been under direct control of the Lagardian Federation in an attempt to prevent invasion by the Draxian Empire. Under Lagardian's watchful eye, the enslaved Roses now find themselves forbidden to leave the planet. So basically, Rosa is a desert planet and they're enslaved by the Lagardians. Get a cutscene here, I'm going to be quiet. Trapped within this desert wasteland, the sands of time blow ceaselessly. But it's not going to end like this. I'm going to find my way out of here. I swear it. <laughs> You sure he's in this backwards bumpkin town? The information came from a credible source. He's here, all right. He should be hiding out somewhere on Rosa. Yes, of course. He's one of the galaxy's top hunters. Maybe he got his mitts on a load of gosh and he's off living it up somewhere. Can't believe he'd be wasting his time on this slave rope. Don't worry, he's somewhere on this planet. My instincts are infallible. Like, I'm gonna trust a robot's instincts. I would if I were you. They're quite uncanny. Besides, I can use this to determine whether or not he's the real deal. Just leave it to Steve, alright? Really? Well, the captain will be pretty cheesed off if we don't find him. So you'd better come through on this. I know, I know. We're in Rosa Saudi. Tuckered out, huh? You did well, boy. 
to a medium-sized mish. Okay, pal, you met your quota. And here's your pay. Huh? Is that all? Can't you spare a little extra? We didn't bring that much with us, you know. <laughs> Besides, slaves like you should be grateful we even bother to share our rations. <laughs> I'm not doing this for my health, you know. This is all that I got today. Those long guardians are getting a little too big for their britches. You gonna let them get away with it? No, no. Don't get so worked up over it. It's been two years since Rose has been under long guardian. They're still struggling to get used to this place. We'll get our chance soon enough. <sighs> Man, why did Rosa have to get mixed up in this war? Uh, it used to be such a peaceful planet. The little guardians aren't all bad, though. Now that their lookouts are posted at the gate, we never get beasts in town anymore. But the whole reason they're posted there is to keep an eye on us. What the? Seems I spoke too soon. There's a beast in town. A pretty big one by the looks of it. All right, I'll take care of it. Just her wait. Don't worry, I'll behave. That thing? This is bad. It's heading for the residential area. Huh? Damn, we're surrounded. Don't sweat it. Any spoils are nothing. They just rolled in on the big guy's coattails. Huh? Who are you? Let's finish these jumps off first. All right, so we got a battle here. After that cutscenes and all that, you get into a bat, get into a battle here. And you're about how to fight and all that. So you got your sword slash and your fire gun. Yeah, Jasper has two weapons. He's got a sword and a gun. Actually, use your sword to where you can use your gun, and you can jump a circle. You can guard against attacks of all one. You can open the menu any time during battle and all that. So yeah. Press the triangle. Okay, yeah, just keep it. Start attacking them. You can also use your gun, but it does less damage. As you can tell there. And you got your action gauge. When it goes down, you'll have to recharge your. You have to basically rest until it recharges. So you just hold all one, and there you go, it'll recharge. Or you can also defend against the enemy's attack. If you defend against an enemy's attack successfully, it'll automatically refill the gauge. Or gauge, whatever. After battle, you get EXP as you normally would in any RPG. Also, your weapons can go up, as you can tell. Next to the sword and the gun, there's a little bit of red. That that bar is going to fill up, and when it gets full, you'll uh, master a weapon. You're pretty strong. <laughs> that wasn't even a warm up. Who are you? I'm your ally, of course. For now, anyway. More importantly, the big fella went off toward the residential area. That beast is worth at least 20,000. Come on. 20,000? What are you, some kind of hunter? Pretty much. Alright, so now we're back in control of Jasper. And we can move around and all that. Alright. 
go and open the menu here and go over some stuff. We got your items. You got your info edge where you can learn about stuff. Info, where searcher gun uh Guin system. The desert planet Rosa is is in the Guin system. Part the with Herser galaxy. With Herser is home to many other star systems where wars continue to be waged over outer space resources. Info Rosa, a backwater desert planet rich in resources and highly valued. The Lord Guardian Federation took over two years took over two years ago to prevent the Draxian Empire from moving in. The Roses were enslaved and are now being watched over by the Lagardian military. Info Lagardia and Draxel. The Lagardian Federation and the Draxian Empire are the two biggest powers in the galaxy. Lagardia controls the Guin system, home to Jaster and Company, while Draxel controls the nearby Yidra system. And now for items, you got your regular healing potions. These are the standard that heal you by 50, restore 50% 50 of your allies' HP. You can use them in battle and all that, obviously. And then resurrection, you can revive an ally after, like, if they die. And here's the sword that Jaster starts with, Plain Edge, the weakest sword in the game. And you got the Stun Gross, which is the weakest gun in the game. Start with that. And then, uh, here's your outfit. As you progress later in the game, you'll get more outfits and stuff. But, Jaster starts with the Desert Dweller's Clothes. And this is the Hooded Man's Sword. And the hooded man's armor. And you got your allies, you can check their stats and all that. You're always being controlled, Jasper. You can't be controlled this guy, so. So you can see his uh, equipment and all that. You can tell he's got defensive status against wind, I guess. It's wind. And then you got strategy. You can give commands to your um, allies. You got fight separately. That means they'll fight a different enemy than you. Uh, pick some target means they'll attack the same target you target. Go all out means they'll do whatever and they'll use items. I do not recommend doing that because they'll automatically use items and there's a chance they'll run out of items. And then step back will uh, your eyes will avoid the enemy. So they'll just run away. Revelation. Here's where you upgrade your characters and all that, giving them new abilities and stuff. Pretty big graph here. Pretty big chart, I mean. And then system where you get your settings and help. Where you can learn about controls and stuff. I'm not going to go over that. You can read all these if you want to. And then these will be unlocked later on in the game. Alright, so. Got some people here we can talk to. So he watches over the place. Alright. That's cool. Yeah, this game you get treasure chest. Go and open this treasure chest over here. No crest times two. I'll be using the revelation chart later on. I did not mean to jump there. Yeah, I know Beast are wrecking the town. You can rotate the camera with the uh, with the right analog stick. And you move around opposite with the left analog. Alright. Talk to you. Uh, let's head into the church, or this place. Oh, we can get some items in here. Come over here. You get, a, you get three healing potions. Very nice. Got some more people we can talk to. She'll be important later on. Part of a side quest later on. Just 
quickly talk to these people so you can see what they say. You don't have to. And here we got this dude that we met earlier, Father Raul. You can't get new encounters around here too. I haven't gotten a one yet though. They're all random encounters in this game. Let me try getting an encounter before I end the video. Before I end part one here. Here we go, random encounter. Alright, these things are actually pretty tough. These things can kill you. You want to be careful around these things. Nope, nope. You don't want to run. If you get too far out of the battle, you'll... Yeah, these are suggestions your allies will um, ask and stuff. Like, as you can tell, it says Max Hill on the screen. Your allies can actually recommend that, and then you can press L1 and U automatically. So yeah, let's go ahead and press L1 here. And there you go, automatically use a hill potion. Now I'm just getting wrecked here. Let's go ahead and use an item. Open your menu, select the item, and you can use it. There you go. You can also pick up stuff and throw it. I prefer to use the gun against these things because they're pretty tough. They can kill you pretty quickly. The gun has to reload though and all that like a standard gun would. As you can tell that ball will fill up. And there you go, you get your EXP and your weapon will go up some. So I just wanted to show one encounter before I end the video. And here we got uh yeah, you got these transporter things. Oh, crap. Sorry about that. My TV messed up for a second there. Transporter functions are basically saving you, and you can teleport as well. Yeah, as you can tell here, teleporting. I'll go more into that later on. You can also recover your health as well. There you go. We activated that teleporter. You don't have any other places to teleport though right now. And you also got your item stored too as well. You can put stuff in storage. I'm not going to though. And you can also save up too. So I'm gonna I'm gonna save it and all that. I'm gonna end the video here. I don't thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode and be sure to look at my other guides and videos on my channel. Please subscribe. Later. So primarily Primarily this channel is an RPG channel. There's going to be an RPG that's going to be coming out known as Dragon Age Inquisition. This offer here that you see on the screen is a pre-order bonus. And where you can save yourself 20% on the game. So that's a pretty good discount. Now for those of you who haven't played the Dragon Age games, Dragon Age 1 was a very good game. Dragon Age 2 was not so good. But I have a feeling that this game, Dragon Age Inquisition, is going to be a very good game. So click the link in the description because it will greatly help my channel and plus you will save yourself 20% on the game. So thank you and later.